As you can tell, it's rather breezy here in the Sherwood Forest Country Park this morning. I've come out with a lure, the artificial pheromone lure. I'm hoping to attract a male yellow-legged clearing. Now the yellow leg clearwing is fairly common, quite easy to attract with the use of pheromone lures, especially here in the country park area. It can sometimes take a while to turn up to lure, but it eventually does so. Some days are better than others and certainly a peak in the number of records occurs here around about July. One particular afternoon, Dillis, Bill Keywinder and myself had 29 males to a lure within the space of about an hour. We ran out of pots in the end and it was quite some event. Today though I'm just looking for the one, I'll be quite happy with the one because there's been no Sherwood Forest records of yellow leg clearing from anywhere in the Sherwood Forest area since 2016. It's amazing how the interest in clearings has dropped off considerably, almost down to nothing, certainly here in the Sherwood Forest Country Park and both the yellow leg clearing and at one time the Welsh clearing were high on people's priorities of species they wanted to see here. These pheromone lures, these artificial lures, are brilliant for attracting clearings. They usually work for most species within a matter of minutes. But as a general guide to using pheromone lures, it's best not to use them too frequently. Certainly once a year on one site is usually plenty once you've got the moth and you know that moth is present on site. There's no need to continually pursue the moth while they use the pheromone lures on any one site for a number of times during the course of a year. By all means, go back and try again at the same site two or three years later just to make sure that the species is present that's fine but don't have these lures out all day every day it potentially draws males away from a large distance that could and should be looking for females and regarding sites as large as Sherwood Forest yes it has, there has been a lot of work done using these pheromone lures and that was done to determine the range of like the yellow leg clearing and especially the Welsh clearing across the site. But there again, the same simple rules were followed. The lure wasn't out for very long and it was tried at sort of extremes of the site. Sherwood Forest and in our covers an enormous area. It hasn't been done for a number of years and indeed both the species I'm trying to attract here, the yellow leg clearing and the Welsh clearing, haven't been recorded, as far as I'm aware, from Sherwood Forest since 2016. Let's hope one turns up today. And here is the yellow leg clearing just coming to the lure. Excellent. The conditions aren't brilliant today. It's very breezy, but what a striking moth. And here is a yellow leg clearwing. It's in immaculate condition. I'm going to attempt to lift the lid off the pot now that the sun's gone in. So you might only see this very briefly. Here we are. It's settled down nicely. This is a decent size. Quite a small in terms of clearings. Welsh clearings are larger, but it's an absolutely beautiful moth. The lovely things are quite unique clearings, and most people wouldn't even dream that this was a moth. They'd maybe think it was a wasp or something like that, or 
but as you can see there it's a beautiful thing obviously you can see why they get called clearings because those wings are completely see-through well I'm happy with that At least we got one or two. In fact, I think there was two different individuals. I think that last one that I got was smaller than the first one, the one that I filmed flying around this lure. It's nice after six years now to get yellow leg clearing back here at Sherwood Forest Country Park. All we need now is to try for Welsh clearing, and I might well do that further back down there in the more heathland -like areas of the Sherwood Forest Country Park. But that will be a video for another day.